Good evening, Otter Creek, Florida, and the Shady Bunch members and DJ Radis fans. Today, we interview Lynette Preston and spoke about her claims of being bullied and her previous drug use. I've never taken drugs. So, but you have openly admitted before that you do. There are even screenshots. They are all fake. Debunked. I played the fifth. Okay, we will come back to that later. So how has your time been so far in Otter Creek? Have when I first got here, I was the talk of the town. Everyone wanted to know me because I had amazing turtles. Oh, but what happened? The residents discovered I was just here to try and scam money from them, and they all ended up hating me. But why would you try and scam your friends? That seems a bit, and I don't use this word often enough. Odd I'm disabled in the head, and I don't know any easier way to make money. I'm not about to get a job. That seems like a pretty hard way to make money. Okay, but how does Mr. Hales come into all this? You claim he has bullied you. I tried begging for him to allow his fans to donate money to me, and he said no. That, in my opinion, is bullying me. Why does he deserve to make money and I don't? But how is that bullying? Can't you just make your own YouTube channel and content? Why do you have to be spoon-fed everything? Because it's not fair. I want his money. I want his love. I want his affection like he gives George. John uses and abuses me like a dirty rag stripper bars and clubs used to clean the dance poles. That is a terrible visual image I now have in my head. I see here you used to be a stripper. Can't you go back to that to earn money? Who's going to pay to see me shake my wrinkly droopy boobies? So how are you going to make money? I'm going to set up a thousand and one GoFundMe accounts and beg for the people online to give me money for a lawyer so I can sue Jeremy. I will make money the honest American way by suing him for everything. I will lie through my three teeth in court to make him appear to be the worst person in the world. Then all his riches will be mine. Then everyone will want me again. So let's get back to your drug usage. My notes say you use OxyPain medication. Is it just prescribed to you or do you have other sources? My doctor stopped giving me the good stuff back in Northport, so I buy what I can whenever I can. Sometimes I trade it for homeless people to stay in my shed as they seem to get it whenever they want. Have you ever had a bad encounter with someone staying in your shed? I had these two drug addicts who stayed for a couple of weeks. When they left, they stole one turtle, or it could have been all the turtles. They claimed they were taking them to the car wash in Bronson to wash them, and they never brought them back. How did that make you feel that you got scammed the same sort of way you wanted the scam, the residents of Otter Creek? I plead the fifth. Well, that's all the time we have tonight. Thank you, Lynette, for speaking with me, despite the fact your answers didn't make much sense, and you have shown us all that you are just in it for money. On next week's show, we will interview Mr. Thomas Collins and discover how he is becoming an inspiring journalist with the help of Shara the Shark, Michelle Austin. Don't forget to click subscribe, like the video, leave a comment for the algorithm. Let's help DJ Radis reach 1,000 subscribers. Come and join us on Facebook. Search for Otter Creek FL and the Shady Bunch.